Hey y'all, so that's a real quick check-in for um, my Divine Masculine, y'all. So um, don't forget, every twin is on a different stage of their twin flame journey. Take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. If you're feeling triggered by anything, I do encourage you to face the mirror because this journey is about your evolution, your healing, okay? Um, even though I do do these messages from time to time, I just do it just so you will be able to know or have some type of clarity of what's happening in your DMs world, okay? Now, um, what I want to get to the bottom of is just really finding out what the, the masculines, um, what truth was revealed about the karmic or their karmic situation, okay? So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this divine masculine read. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to communion with you and close the gates to anything not in alignment. I ask that you block all karmic um, interference, and so it is. All right, my spirit team. So what did divine masculine find out about their karmic? Ooh, I don't even know how to take these cards. Hold on. Let me do it again. <laughs> My mess and find out about that comment. What truth was revealed? Ten of Cups up, right? Show me more. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. I feel like what was revealed is that this karmic wants to have a happy family with them. Okay? That they want to really, wow, be in alignment with them, be in harmony with them. Like they want a romantic relationship with them. Show me what else I need to see about this Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Too many cards are dropping out at once, y'all. Show me what else I need to see about this Ten of Cups. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Five of Wands in the reverse. So they're realizing is that they... Um, these karmics are wanting to reconcile with them or, you know, what I'm hearing is, yeah, they want to recover, heal whatever the situation is with them um, because they, they want to be connected with them. They want to start fresh with them. They want to have this family structure with them, period. Page of Cups upright. All right. So, and they're being persistent about it for some odd reason. It's like, this is something here that they have this idea that they'll be able to, you know, make this happen here. And it was revealed to the masculine seven of swords in the reverse. The truth came out. Okay, about this. So what was that? Tell me more about the seven of swords in the reverse. So the masculine spoke their truth. Page of Wands comes out in the reverse is what I just heard. Okay, so let me see something. It's like this karmic wasn't expressing the ideas, okay? But that's what it is. But the thing is, it's like the masculine had the the masculine did speak their truth about it and told them, like, look, I got this idea. I want to connect with my twin or my divine feminine here, okay? Well, I'm not putting it into action yet. But I feel like they're saying like they're trying to make some type of self-honoring decision here um, to come towards or do something different. It's like they're they're ready to start something new, like they got a whole different plan aside from this. So it's like even if that didn't come straight out and say it, and I'm going to ask that question. It's like they did reveal the truth to let them know, like I got something totally different plan. I'm trying to start on a new journey here. OK, so did this masculine come out and say Anything about divine feminine to the karmic? <clears throat> Partly. The Ace of Swords came out on the side. It's like, I feel like it's one of those part truths. It's like they kind of like were unsure if they should. It's like they kind of left them in a state of confusion, but kind of like still said something. Tell me more about that. Why did that land on the side? I just heard they won't do it in baby steps. <laughs> in baby steps. So tell, tell me a little bit more. Well, what did they say? What did they say about divine feminine to the karmic? What did they say about divine feminine to the karmic? <clears throat> oh, 
that it is somebody else. Three of Cups. Upright. They may have said, like, there is somebody else. You are their friend. Or you're like their soulmate. That's what I just heard. You're their soulmate. This triggered the karmic. I got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So it did trigger the karmic. Okay, so tell me more about this Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, because the Hermit card comes out in the reverse. Why? Because, yeah, they're releasing them. All right, they're, they, they're not thinking about it anymore. It's like, yeah, this person is somebody I'm vibing with. I'm cool with them. They like a part of my soul tribe. This person got a lot. They support me a whole lot. And I'm ready to work on that. The Eight of Pentacles comes out. Or they're focusing on their money. Mm. Show me more here. How did this karmic feel about that? Four of wands in the reverse next to the sun in the reverse. This joint, wow. Is they're definitely not feeling too positive or uplifted about this, is what I'm saying with that sun reverse energy. It's like they don't support it. Okay. It did create some type of upheaval for them. Um, again, because like I said, they're operating with that Queen of Cups reverse energy. So very overly emotional, um, blocked in their intuition here. And it they feel like they feel out of balance. Just 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 to say that. They feel out of balance because of this situation. Okay. Um and it's, and it's like it's creating like this breakdown in the communication is also what I'm seeing here. So they're very uncertain about everything that's happening here. So it is something that is triggering them here. But for the most part, it's like, yeah, the masculine is saying, yeah, you know, this is this is who divine feminine is to me. OK. Divine feminine is my soul tribe. Yes, it is another person. Yes, this person is there. <clears throat> to what degree? Yeah. Oh, the fool card come out next to the three of cups reverse <clears throat> next to the seven of pentacles up right y'all something trying to stop me from talking y'all <coughs> so basically with that fool card it's like yeah they're getting ready to start something new they're gonna take a leap of faith here um because they don't they don't want to be with the other person basically they're really stepping back. They want to invest or in some type of hardships here, um, here, and they want to be able to turn whatever you guys got into something more, something deeper. It's like they want to be able to see this progress. Okay, so tell me about the Three of Cups in the reverse position. Yep, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, reverse. They're no longer, you know, on a mission to try to manifest something here in that third party situation, basically. They have very little direction when it comes to, to that manifestation. It's like what they're focused on is more like their goals. It's like what they're trying to do, you know, their earthly goals. That's what they're more more connected to at this time than, you know, dealing with that situation. Let me find out something. Tell me more about this lovers. Nine of Wands in the reverse position. So, yeah, they're very defensive when it comes to you guys. Okay. It's like they're very defensive. Tell me more about that. Why are they so defensive when it comes to the, their divine feminine? Cause you that lover. There it go again. <laughs> Cause you that people. Like, nah, you not gonna. Yeah. I got a strong, I have a strong bond with divine feminine. Okay. They don't want no conflict. And that's how they see it. The queen of wands in the reverse position. That's that karmic energy coming through. That karmic is jealous. Very jealous and very hot tempered when it comes to you. It's like, yep, queen of cups reverse. It could be two karmics. Could be a fire sign karmic and a water sign karmic. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like it could be two different karmics here. Yep, justice card in the reverse. And I'm hearing too, it could be two different karmics. You know, like they did some stuff here that was dishonoring and created a lot of disharmony 
okay competitive environment everything um with this situation they didn't make a good decision here they ain't balancing some scales right at all, honey. Yeah, okay. But again, Eight of Pentacles comes out. It's like they're now working. That's their focus. They're working on creating a better situation for themselves. They're working on trying to close out karmic cycles. They're working on their money, right? They're working on trying to be a better person here. Um, despite, you know, whatever happened in that situation or in their situations. Okay. So, yeah. Four of Wands comes up. They're working on creating a firm foundation, okay, for themselves, for y'all. You know, they want to be supported. They want to be able to um, do everything, celebrate, <laughs> take it to the next level, whatever it is. It's like, I keep just seeing y'all two hand in hand. It's like they want to take this journey with you. It's like, and even though this car mix or car mix may have said let me look at it like if it's two if it's two karmics here what did they find out about this queen of wands reverse what was revealed about this queen of wands reverse to this karmic i mean to the divine masculine ace of swords comes out some truth they gave a lot of clarity here about this situation they were totally confused about them and what is it what was it Knight of Swords in the reverse position. It actually did cause them to be real rude and aggressive towards them too. Mm-hmm. Real rude and aggressive is what I'm 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 pulling in. Whatever that they they found out, it pissed them off. Okay, Page of Swords in the reverse position here. Yep, it started some type of argument or something here. Oh, I got the Ten of Pentacles up right. So this this Queen of Wands reverse, whoever this fireside energy is, is like they had this idea and they were trying to execute it. So they communicated something here with Divine Masculine that pissed them off. And it was about their long term goals here is what I'm saying with that Ten of Pentacles with that legacy here. All right. What was that? What did this Queen of Wands reverse communicate? Gotta be a baby mother or mother figure. Look at that. Empress in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like, yo, I'm your baby mother or I'm your your mama or I'm your, your wife, whatever, right? And you're going to break our tradition. You're going to, you know, cause all this conflict here to offer your love to somebody else, right? To a source reverse. You're going to make a decision like that? And your divine masculine definitely got very defensive about that. Yep. Because they realizing that this is a karmic. They are, this is what was revealed to them that this person was a karmic. I got the Wheel of Fortune coming out next to the Four of Wands. This is still like a twin flame card. It's like divine intervention. It's almost as if the divine has stepped in and like was dropping them downloads to help them to be able to see like, nah, that ain't it. Tell me about what did the masculine find out about the queen of cups reverse. All right. So if these are two different, I'm doing this as if this is two different karmics. Okay. Um, it may not have to be, but you know, take whatever one may fit with your story. All right. But tell me what the masculine found out about this queen of cups reverse. Ace of swords reverse. Mm, did I say that right? Yeah, Ace of Swords reverse. Um, show me more about that. It's like they were confused or unsure about this situation. Oh, they thought that this Queen of Cups was their person. The lovers came out. They thought that this was their soulmate. Like this is somebody that they could actually build something with. Okay. But then something set in that made them doubt it with that strength card in the reverse. What? Something came out that made them doubt it. They weren't communicating at all. It's like it seemed like every time they tried to communicate here, it ended up like they ended up having some type of clashing words, painful words, whatever it was, right? So they had to go back and double check some stuff here, right? <laughs> that gave them some clarity. What I need to see. Yeah, it was some type of challenge that had took place that they weren't able to overcome 
within this situation. King of Pentacles upright next to the chariot in the reverse, next to the magician. It's something here that may have happened where your masculine has been really trying to, like I said, get their money up, right? King of Pentacles energy. They trying to get their money up here, financially secure and everything here. And it feels like this Queen of Cups reverse created some type of challenge for them to keep them from being able to manifest something here. Or even look, some manipulation of spell work could be involved in this situation. Hey, they do what it do, right? What was the challenge? The baby. This may be a baby mother too. Or it could be a mother. I'm still feeling like Trojan. It's like that's what happened. This this other this Queen of Cups reverse. I'm here and got pregnant, and that's what the challenge was. That's what stopped them from being able to even really manifest anything here with you. Fifteen fifty on my clock. Wheel of Fortune right next to it. That was their karma. Fifteen fifty five. That created a straight a straight or a bunch of changes. It's like, that's why, and then that's where they felt like, okay, I mean, we got, it's harmony between us. We, we, it ain't no messed up stuff like it is with that other karmic baby mother or whatever, right? So maybe this is where I'm supposed to be. So I feel like they were trying to create something here with that. But this person ended up being an Empress Reverse too. And it was all of this is coming out. They're starting to see the truth. They're seeing the clarity behind it. This person actually is the empress in reverse and not their happiness. It's not their full nine of cups. Okay. The full card is out here next to the nine of cups upright. They ready to take a leap of faith at this point. They're trusting their intuition with this situation. It's their intuition that's guiding them to start a new journey here to get their nine of cups, which is coming towards you, Divine Femme. That's what's going on. They realizing like, wait, this ain't my, this doesn't make me fully happy. Like, I may be eight or seven cups that this person has, but Divine Femme 1707 on my clock has all nine of the cups. Wow. One more card, y'all. Then I got to go because I don't know how much more this phone, space this phone going to hold. I'm going to need to see you. Thank you. You and your twin flame are mirroring each other's thoughts at this present time. So be careful how you think and feel. So they may be feeling like they're over it too. But if you're feeling that way, so pay attention to the signs and information that comes to you in books, songs, and names because your, your angelic team is talking to you. So romance yourself as a way of attracting more of this energy into your life, okay? So start loving on yourself. Take yourself out. Serenade yourself, okay? Put all that love into you, all right? Because that's going to, that makes you more attractive. And that's what also brings brings the masculines into as well right because now you're you're putting yourself first and that's literally they need that they love it when you do it okay trust me trust me i'm divine feminine i've been on this road for a minute y'all all right so i will holla at y'all tomorrow love you guys peace